all kinds of adjustment we will complete today they have given adjustments means additional informations they have given revenue from operation below that other income total income finance cost is 30000 working note number 2 amortization they have given directly it is 24000 Hello everyone I am your Adarsh sir lecturing with the Ashram PU College the Temple of Excellence so we are in the fifth session of topic called financial statement of company so in the previous session we discussed about what do you mean by financial statement and also we did problems on profit and loss account almost we completed more than four to five problems on profit and loss account today also we are going with profit and loss account only but with additional adjustments this kind of problem they have asked in a previous year examination so we will work out that problem also so that all kinds of adjustment we will complete today in the previous session we completed few of the adjustment the balance one or two adjustments we have those adjustments we will complete in today's session so this is your question now the adjustments may change in each problem that but the format and the concept will always remain same so this kind of problem you may get in your examination compared to your previous problem this is more easy from the following trial balance and other information prepare statement of profit and loss for the year ending 31st march 2018 as per schedule 3 of company act 2013 and they have given adjustments means additional informations they have given first one is tax rate 30% as i told you every problem you will get tax rate 30% now depreciation on plant and machinery 10% similar in the previous problem they have given depreciation directly like 5000 6000 8000 in this they have given value of machinery on that if you calculate 10% you will get depreciation now and amortization of goodwill 24000 you know what is depreciation what is depreciation example you have taken one mobile so it is a smartphone the price of the mobile is around 30000 what is the price of the mobile 30000 now you have used this mobile for one year now the question is 30000 worth mobile branded one after one year of usage can you sell it for more than 30000 what is your answer can you sell it for 40000 can you sell it for 50000 can you sell it for 31000 leave it can you sell it for 30000 the answer is no why because you have used for one year the if you are selling this mobile means obviously it will go for around 20000 whatever price i have quoted that is more actually you will get less than 20000 because mobile electronic items resale value always less example 30000 worth mobile you are selling for what value 20000 why there is a reduction or reduce of 10000 in this that 10000 we call it as depreciation you understood what is depreciation now we'll come back for amortization what do you mean by amortization amortization normally happens for intangible assets what are the intangible asset yes goodwill is called as intangible asset what is goodwill goodwill means name fame and reputation of any goods is called goodwill i'll give you simple example this pen 
this is a smart pen normally it cost around 1500 what is the price of this pen 1500 the same smart pen used by amitabh bachchan the same smart pen used by amitabh bachchan will you pay 1500 obviously no it may be 1 lakh 50000 because it is used by whom amitabh bachchan so the 1500 rupees pen we can sell it for 1 lakh 50 the difference we call it as goodwill fame reputation because it is used by whom star so the value will be increased that is called goodwill goodwill is one of the example for intangible asset goodwill copyrights patents all comes under intangible assets now we'll come back to your amortization what is amortization now your total value around 5 lakh your yeah, goodwill is around 5 lakh so this goodwill this reputation you can use it for 5 years example i am giving you this reputation you can use it for how many years 5 years means 5 lakh belongs to which year one year or 5 years yes whatever 5 lakh you paid goodwill this belongs to 5 years why because this is valid for 5 years then 5 lakh divided by 5 every year what is your expenditure yes every year the expenditure as goodwill is 1 lakh why because you paid 5 lakh for goodwill but this 5 lakh worth is valid for 5 years means every year your expenditure is 1 lakh similarly your goodwill 24,000 amortized means out of 5 lakh 1 lakh what we have done divided every year we have divided 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh like that we divided whatever the divided amount is there you no know, that is only amortization hope you are clear the overall value we subdivided into its validity the validity is 5 years means all 5 years equally we divided the individual divided amount we call it as amortization next year again one lakh is amortization next year one lakh amortization fourth year one lakh amortization fifth year again one lakh is called amortization sixth year zero why because all five years we completed with amortization spreading splitting of your overall value it happens only with intangible assets clear yes this is called amortization we'll go with the problem so these are the questions they have little different right so the previous was it was simply it was given revenue from operation cost of goods consumed expenses salary everything was given in a single column but in this little difference you can feel very simple the same question they have given in trial balance format easy i'll make you understand now land and building we will not consider trade receivable we don't want you remember that format revenue from operation below that other income total income minus expenses then you will get profit before taxation minus taxation profit after taxation remember that format only now land and building we don't want receivable we don't want payable we don't want debentures we don't want sales what do you mean by sales yes sales means revenue from operation i'll go to your answer one by one we'll solve how much sales you have you have 15 lakh sales it is nothing but revenue from operation your answer revenue from operation is how much 15 lakh other income they have not given nil your final revenue is called 15 lakh your first step is done any confusions no similar to your previous problems now 
We'll go to your second step, expenses. I'll go back to your question. In this, net purchases they have given. Any material cost of consumption not given. What they have given? Net purchases. I'll go back to your answer. Expenses. Under expenses, purchases. 10 lakh. How come you got 10 lakh? Net purchases. 10 lakh. This 10 lakh we have taken as purchases. Now, I'll go back to your question. Now, you have wages and salary. Salary given to whom? Employees. It comes under where? Employee benefit expenses. Right. Contribution to provident fund. PF. PF given to whom? Yes. Again, it is given to whom? Employees. So, this also comes under Employees benefit expenses. Next. Plant and machinery will come later. Goodwill will come later. The total is given. I will go to answer yes. Purchase of stock in trade is over. Employee benefit expenses. We have two things. I will go back. Wages as well as contribution to PF. Both if you add you will get employee benefit expenses. Wages, 50,000. Contribution to provident fund, 10,000. 50 plus 10, how much? Yes, 60,000. We'll go to working note. Wages and salary, 1,000. Contribution to provident fund, 10,000. Total, it is almost 60,000 now. What is your answer? 60,000 is your answer. So, employee benefit, working out number one, your answer is 60,000. I'm going one by one slowly. So, follow this. I'm going back to question. Again, I'm coming back for answer. Now, finance cost. In this question, they have not given finance cost, but they have given information anywhere they have given interest paid no but they have given 10 percent debentures what do you mean by debentures debenture means it is a secured loan you have pledged for example in my office i have big car in my office i have big bus that bus documents I have given to somebody and I have taken 5 lakh loan. That is called secured loan. Why it is secured means if I don't repay that money, the documents what I have given, I cannot get it back. So that's why it is secured. So secured loan is nothing but your debentures. Now, debentures means you have taken loan. What is the percentage of loan? 10%. So the percentage also they have mentioned. Now what is the debenture value? 3 lakh. On 3 lakh, 10%. How much you will get? 30,000. Simple calculation. If interest is not given, they have given information called debenture. From the debenture, calculate 10%, you will get 30,000. That 30,000 we call it as finance cost. Finance cost is 30,000. Working note number 2. If you want to see working note, I'll show that. See, they have calculated debenture interest outstanding. Now, what is the value of debenture? It is 3 lakh. On 3 lakh, what is the percentage? Yes, this is 3 lakh. Now, on 3 lakh, if you calculate 10%, how much you will get? Yes, it is 30,000. 30,000 they have taken here. Finance cost, how much? It is 30,000. Finance cost is how much? 30,000. Your finance cost is over. What is the next one? Yes, the next one is called as depreciation and amortization. So I'll go back to your question because they have given information about depreciation and amortization. Amortization they have given directly it is 24,000. Depreciation on machinery is 10%. What is your plant and machinery? 2 lakh. Take 2 lakh. 
मल्टीप्लाई विथ टेन परसेंट हाउ मच यू विल गेट यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड हाउ मच इज योर डिप्रिशिएशन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड नाउ वॉट इज द अमोटाइजेशन योर गुडविल अमोटाइजेशन इज हाउ मच ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड टूगेदर टूगेदर हाउ मच ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर यू विल गेट फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड दिस इज कॉल्ड योर डिप्रिशिएशन एंड amortization see in your answer they have taken called 44 so you got depreciation and amortization how much 44000 where is the calculation for that just we calculated depreciation is 20000 your goodwill amortization is 20000 20 plus 24 it is how much it is 44000 so we got 44000 as depreciation and amortization what is the next one the next one is other expenses in this question we don't have any other expenses so other expenses you can write and you can make it as nil blank why because they have not given so 90% of your problem done now what is the next step your income 15 lakh Your expenditure eleven lakh thirty four. From fifteen lakh, if you minus eleven lakh thirty four, how much you will get? You will get three lakh sixty six thousand. How much you will get? Three lakh sixty six thousand. From that, what you should do? You got profit means behind you. Who will be there? Yes, the income tax officer. So once you got profit means. Your behind income tax officer will be there. Means you have to calculate thirty percent tax. Now, what is your amount? Three lakh sixty six thousand. Multiply with what? Multiply with thirty percent. Three lakh sixty six thousand. Multiply with thirty percent. How much you will get? You will get one lakh nine thousand eight hundred. This is your tax portion. Now, your income is how much? Three lakh sixty six. How much you are paying to government? One lakh nine thousand eight hundred. The difference we call it as your profit after tax. What is your difference? Profit after tax. R. You can call it as profit for the year. So this is all about your solution. Now. I'll go back to your question. I show you one by one slide. Take screenshot and work out properly. So this is your question with adjustment. Remember, they have given ten percent and goodwill amortization is twenty four thousand. These are the trial balance they have given to calculate. So land, trade receivable, trade payable, which are immaterial. We don't want those things. For P and L preparation, so we have not considered those. We considered only plant and machinery. Why? Because we had ten percent depreciation calculation. This is your question. Just take a screenshot of this. This is your answer. As per the format, whatever P and L format we have, in that format only we have done this answer. Please take screenshot of this also. Once if it is done, this is done along with what? Yes, part of the answer should be your working notes. So these are the working notes to calculate your employees benefit fund as well as your finance cost depreciation. Also, you have to calculate separately, and the tax portion thirty percent we already calculated now. This is all about your today's session. We completed your profit and loss account, all kinds of adjustment in your examination. Other than these five problems, you will not get anything. Why? Because one by one problem, I have added one one adjustment so that all kinds of adjustment we covered in our previous five sessions. So. Next session we go with balance sheet. That is the last topic for your financial statement of your company chapter. Thank you.